That, my friend, is the jab. And what we're going to learn here today is how to truly approach throwing the jab and what to look out for when you throw the jab. So no further ado, it's time to box the jab. First thing you want to have is proper feet placement. Knees bent, 12, 2 o'clock, sit down in your stance. Head must be off the line. Why? Because you do not want to get counter to the left. You don't want to get counter to the right. So posture up. Key, hands, you want them around the eyebrow. Why? Because you do not want to get attacked or caught with a hook or overhand and split the eyebrow. So you protect your eyes and you must have strong dexterity in the, in the defense. Why? Because punches will hit the glove and they will hit you. So you'll be punching yourself. So you must have a strong posture. And when you throw the jab, balance. Do not deliver off balance or too tall. It sets you up for the counter. Throw on the jab one. Mechanic here, here. Turn the hand over, turn the hand over. Step with it, step with it. Remember this, head is off the line. If you throw the jab straight up here, you're gonna be in a line of fire. Key, when you throw the jab huh, behind the shoulder, it's key. If you do not, what'll happen is when you throw, low shoulder, counter punch over the top. Easy, chin check. You do not want that. So, remember, posture right, pop. Make sure you're tucked behind. You cannot get caught. You can ricochet, and then you can catch the left hook. It's not what you do, it's the things that you can't forget not to do. Ready? Boom. Pop, pop. Catch that hook. Make sure you deflect the right. Pivot away from the power hand, which is usually the right hand. And that, my friends, is how you deliver one of the focused jabs, which is the basic jab. And there are a lot of principles. A lot of you really not stand or paying close attention to the depths of the jab. We're going to make sure that you understand why it's important to do the other things, the head off the line. How many different variations of the jab is it? We teach you that in our punch pad for pros because as you go up in levels, you start to deliver more impactful type punches, more thudding, and you have to develop the body's dexterity. Don't get caught up with just that athletic look. Because if you do that, what's going to happen is your feet are not going to be with you when you throw the punch. So there's not going to be any power with it. See, a jab, every jab, front, back. Feet must be with it, right? On another note, one important thing is to make sure that you have the proper tools. You see I have the compression shirt on. It's our 12 feet compression training shirt. Um, it gives you a good rebound in your punching. All right, so that's a little cheat sheet. And I always bring the pounds with the power hands. It's uber important to give yourself a little more whenever you're training. Train with purpose. Understand one thing, the most important punch in boxing is the jab. Do not overlook all of these fine details. Excuse my French. It's uber important that what you know can get you to the promised land. What you don't know can be the demise of your future progress. So remember this, understand the layers of the jab. There are many, many variations. It is the most important punch in boxing because there are so many manners in which you can deliver the jab. That's all I got for right now to learn more about the different type punches, the different type jabs, punch pad for pros, pros that is. See you next time in a winner's circle, the jab. It's time to box. So long.